Martin, where this episode started. Louis! At last, there you are. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, Mother, I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No! That's I need, enough. I need I explanations. I need further unless you explain <laughs> exactly. to me what is going on Some here. info. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. Try me. I I've seen some shit. I came all the way here for you. Now I found you. I'm ready, mother. If only. Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and logical. I know you are going to find it hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What are your demons Just hear her like? out. Have they got horns and a, a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of well, them are present on this island. We right. theorize that so maybe we did something like that. I wouldn't say Washington and Bonaparte. I would say Mortimer and Holm, if anybody. Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory, right? You felt it too? No, even if Holm does look the part. But I don't <laughs> know who else could do it, given that we're on their territory. Many years ago, well before you were born... I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchard was working for this demon in one way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error, an error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Burchard was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are Would many Would explain the way he looks. Louis, not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? Well, I mean, like, besides everything? I must admit, I found it difficult to understand how and why Mortimer didn't have a place in history. On the continent, Mortimer and Holm are mere dandies who organize society balls. Okay. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. You mean the conference? How can you explain that someone manages to bring together so many important figures without anyone knowing? I mean, and without good points. Any security or personnel. All good points. I went beyond the nightmare, mother. You understood the Masonic date. Yes, I did. One one. Aren't you proud? Of course, it was during that siege that the demon took possession of Sir Mortimer. <laughs> this they is spent changing a whole night in conversation until the early hours of the morning. Mortimer had passed the test. He had charmed the demon, and so it chose him to be its host for centuries to come. But tell me, did you find his secret study? I did indeed. Did you see his maps of the world? Yep. His contacts, the world over. Yes, I've been developing the Golden Order across the world for many years, and I've never seen anyone with such influence. It's simply inhuman. Well, those property deeds across the world, all signed by the same hand, and over several centuries. I am proud of you, Louis. I found your notes, written in lemon juice. 
where all eyes size you up. At one stage, Mom is so I was proud. so afraid of losing my mind that I noted everything down. Congratulations, Louis. Wait, please tell me you didn't open Pandora's box. Well, the urn? Yes, oh, I God. did. Why? Too bad. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> Great, we're screwed. Louis, I am proud of you. Oh, see? You came all this way. You found me. You have surpassed me. You taught me everything I know. Right. How did it all begin? I saw him! What, what do you mean, you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. Okay. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. <laughs> but the writing was in a language I had never seen yeah. before. Okay. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. Smart. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him, or rather he found me. He was young, charismatic, he was flamboyant. Sir Gregory? No, Mortimer, of course. Bah! He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book, and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying She said flamboyant, so, you know. Oh. Yeah, how old was he? Was he was already old in those days, wasn't he? So you recognized him when you arrived on the island, And he's right? not aging. No, he wasn't in that body. Oh. But I know it was him. I swear it was him. The okay. way he spoke, his posture, a few of his intonations, his mannerisms. Wait a minute. You were talking about 60 years ago. I I've lost the thread. Yes, sorry. He helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me, and in the end, he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. Yeah, not that you but would know But before disappearing, he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. What's to say that we're, you're not a demon? And you refused, of course. Why naturally, Louis. You don't make deals with the devil. <laughs> Literally. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later, in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. Yeah, and you're gonna tell me now. You agreed, and that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait, the baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. Jesus. We stole his son, are you insane? Not Jesus, but like, I holy moly. I always we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later! For the moment, that Sir Gregory. is not the key issue here. Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchert's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute, one last thing. One last thing. 
What happened with Elizabeth? I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. Mother? I'm sorry, Mother, but I want to know. She was one of the receptacles for these monsters. Gotcha. I met her parents when she was born. One of the demons got inside her. The demon used her to spy on her father, Which John is in Adams. line with the he is one notes of the that we saw at one point. Fathers and vice president of the United States, you know. Mortimer possessed her? No, I don't think it was Mortimer. Her father, John Adams, hired me to tend to her, but the evil in her was too deep. In spite of the various treatments I tried on her, I never succeeded in getting it out of her. It's not something I'm proud of, Louis. But I had to try I believe everything. Her. I believe her. Do you know who killed her? Absolutely not. Hmm. Okay. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know. Oh, we're gonna have to like... We're gonna have to expand everything. It'll be worth Mother, it. Mother, I won't take a step further if you don't answer me. You? Dare blackmail me? What blackmailing? I'm listening. All right, I used her. So there you are. Happy now? We had the Al Aziz. I just need some and honesty. I didn't think we would be able to escape with it. In order to ensure that the book did not fall into their hands, or that one of them couldn't read in us where we had hidden it, I asked Emily to. It's Emma. Yes, or rather for me, it was Emily. So mm -hmm. I asked Emma to hide it without anyone seeing. Jeez. And then I disposed of her. Oh. I am sorry for her, but she was part of the Golden Order, Louis. She knew the rules when she joined. Yikes. What did you negotiate about the Alazif with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. What was going on with the cannons in Tuscany? It was nothing. Since when does the Order finance wars? The cannons for that Bonaparte fellow? Yes. Listen, once in the lion's den, I did whatever I could to appear legitimate. So yes, I pretended to be interested in Mortimer's project about a young military man who was seeking funding for a foundry in Tuscany. Between you and me, if buying China would have enabled me to escape, I would have signed without hesitation. Okay. Ooh, the letter. Oh yeah, the hand. Finally. Are you tell me what happened to your hand. Finally. Better than I was that, like, why are we just not talking about I this? I shall show you. Wait, what? Okay. Samuel Ritter du Chois, you wanted to send me a letter about Godoy. I wanted you to run a check on Duke Manuel, but frankly, it doesn't really matter anymore now. Godoy is just a pawn like the others. He is not the one I was looking for. You know, I found your package under a wharf plank. Thanks for not touching it. On the evening of my arrival, Cardinal Piaggi came looking for you. He was determined to give you a letter. More of his lists. Louis, I think I know what's in that letter, and I beseech you to believe that it is the least of our worries. We can sort that out later. Are you going to tell me what happened to your hand? Better than that, I shall show you. Okay, then. Good. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? Oh boy. He demands that the Spanish hand over Louisiana to France. Oh, knowing him, it won't stop there. It won't. We that's only part one. We should do to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Are you going to tell me why we're here? She's going to show us how to chop our hands off. There. That's why we are here. What? The hell is that? Nazareth, Bethlehem, Bethesda, Abu Ghosh, Jerusalem, Jordan. What? Come on now. 
So we managed to go through Napoleon Bonaparte's room without leaving a trace, protected one of the Hillsborough twins, and went to see the crowd outside Lady Hillsborough's room. We could have been a witness of Napoleon Bonaparte's resolution. Could have spoken with Piaggi about his motivations. Could have learned something about Al Azif. Could have gone through Jacques Peru's room to get to the balcony. Okay, so either, okay. But it's just alternate ways of getting there. Nothing was failed, so. All right. Uh, what do we have in inventory? Just psychology at this point, right? Or, sorry, questioning. I should be more specific about that. Because I think I've confused psychology and questioning a couple of times. I do have four points to throw in, and we could finish off um, agility. And I got three points. I could finish off linguistics. Although I feel like that's not, like, an amazing one. Or I could put all points into... I could finish this and, like try and get this one maxed out because it seems to be helping us quite a bit actually over linguistics reassure me we aren't going to have to force that one are we i don't think we're even capable of doing it you're going to have to find a way to open it why of course and what's inside something to vanquish them with perfect so how does it open We'll need several keys. Oh, great. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather six objects before S we try it. Is well, it the six or five? Are your six objects <laughs> the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement III cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Isn't that five? I'm so confused. Notes from the Architect. A note about- or from the Architect to Lord Mortimer with information concerning the door. Some nails? Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. When I arrived, there were already a few of them inserted, so I didn't have to worry about those. On the other hand, I remember seeing some in Mortimer's secret study. Behind his nightmare. So I'm gonna have to go back there. In a golden cup? Yes. Yes, I saw them too. So that's why there was so Perfect. much crap in there that we be easy were like, what is the point of then? this? You need three of them. Very well. You remember what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter. And 6466 to exit. Of course. Yeah, okay. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the Maybe. foggiest idea. But it just so happens Giuseppe's that's room what or whatever. we're going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, ah. better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. When I lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. Okay. Remember, Mother, I I'm certain you can remember. Let me think. You were running? I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain? I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I'll search the crypt before leaving. Okay. So nails are in Mortimer's study. Uh, the cross is in the crypt. An exegesis. Anything else? Hmm. You... Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. So you've already come across it. It's the Bible of Judas that is exposed in the secret room behind the chimney. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary, not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. That was what do you the... think I can take it safely? Moving those things around, choice, I think? Louis. Without it, we won't be able to work out this cursed mechanism. Okay. Gutenberg Bible we There's saw in that in room. Gallery. Oh. That's right. You still believe it's in the tower room, don't you? I don't know. There is only one way to find out, though. Right. I shall go and see. So wait, hold on. There's one in the portrait gallery. It's in the portrait That's gallery? Right. But you still believe it's in the tower room, don't you? I we saw know. that in that there is only one way to find room out room that one time, right. so I shall go and see. That seems weird, but there's one in the portrait gallery. Yes, but it's enormous. 
If you don't want to have to go back and forth several times, then I suggest you get a smaller one. What did you do then? I didn't think I'd need one. I started without one, and I lost my hand before I did need one. And you can see the result. Oh. What do you mean by the concordance of dates, exactly? Don't worry about that. We already have them. They are written on the back of the message I just gave you. Okay, so we already have that. So the sphere, it's, he's, she said it's in the portrait gallery, but it's too big, so we have to There's find one another in the one. portrait gallery. Yes, but it's enormous. If you don't want to have to go back and forth several times, then I suggest you get a smaller one. What did you do then? I didn't think I'd need one. I started without one, gotcha. and I lost my hand before so I did So that one, one we might have to find and on our own. And you can see the result. One last thing. Okay, yeah, so I've got go. it all written down. Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Shit. Wait, not all of them though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain so I can't trust anybody. Otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which yeah. the guests start dropping like flies. Fair point. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough. Look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. And not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see. And come back with all the objects in one go. In one Time's go. Time's against us. And remember, okay. the code to get out of the secret office is 6646. Yeah, 1191 6466. Got it, thanks. Man, we're not finding as many transcripts as I was hoping. So that's kind of a bummer. Oh, okay, so it actually is tracking it for us. It's kind of nice. Let's see if I can work it out myself. It looks like a kind of control panel. So the cross would go there. There's a cross-shaped slot there. I'd say you've got a place to claim all the third cross in it. You ought to go, Louis. If All right. someone finds us here, the situation might well become seriously complicated. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I do have to look around, though. Because we need to find a cross down here, don't we? What on earth is that? That's what cut her, her, her this hand off. This information engraved in the metal? An iris that should open, I imagine. And I clutch and down blood. on her and bye-bye. They're Roman numerals, Arab numbers, and town names. Go on. I'm listening. What do you think? Mm. Tell me. I imagine that once we've solved this enigma, the iris opens, right? Exactly. Did you succeed in opening this, Iris? She yes, did. Yes, <laughs> by putting the cross on the console yep. and the three nails on the disc, the iris opens. It gives access to a hole where I put my hand, thinking I could fully open Jeez. the iris. There's a handle at the bottom, and as you can see, it didn't turn out very well for me. No, it did not. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find the cross. I'm guessing it's probably in the main room here. More blood. Oh, key, okay. Organon for logic. I'm not seeing at all. Oh, wait. Sarah's note already found. Wait, what? Okay, so this is telling us exactly where to find everything. And then the back of the message, these dates. 
already found, yes, but then didn't she say that she had lost it in here? We had to use the psychology to convince her that it was somewhere in the crypt? I'll just talk to her again and see. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea, but it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. Yeah, see, like... When I lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. Remember, Mother, I, I'm We've so already gone through remember. this, but... Let me think. You were running? I was bleeding to death. Maybe it's on the stairs out or the something. I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. Hmm. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I'll search the crypt before leaving. Then you would think that it would be like near the... Like there should be like a blood trail, but it's bizarre that there is not. There's blood here. Maybe in this area? Huh. Well, okay. That doesn't help me at all. Okay, so let's review here. Sarah's note says already found, but we'll have to look for it, I guess. Mortimer took it back, so hidden in his desk room. Uh, used by Emmett in the tower room, secret room of the portrait gallery, and then no idea where the sphere is. Let's go hunting. Okay, where do I find the tower room? Is that the very top? Mortimer's office. Oh, tower room. Okay, second second floor. Okay, so it should be to our right. And then second door. This one here. Oh, oh Jesus Louis. Christ. Man, what here. are you doing in here? Blasted. He's gonna talk about my mother. Come and see what I've found. There are pieces of paper in the ashes of the chimney. Someone's been burning something. Oh, here. I don't know what you're talking Incredible. about. Incredible. He doesn't seem to want to speak to me about what happened between my mother and the Hillsborough. Just sister. like she said. Show me a little. Look. It's possible to distinguish two different writing styles. Hmm. The rest of the correspondence between my mother and Emma. Someone tried to burn an exchange of messages. I'm certain there must be more. So now we have to assume Shit. that what these guys all might doing? be possessed. If you want my opinion, a, a servant must have burnt some old papers. Oh, That's he's all. immune! Why, of course. You very nearly made me think that you were trying to hide something, Louis. <laughs> oh, God. No, I... No, that's a couple of immunities for him, isn't it? That we know. Um... So, politics and manipulation. Sure, there must be other hidden messages. He won't let go. He's going to work his way back to the Bible if he continues. Which means I should get to the Bible first. It's this run, I'm pretty sure. Oh, the Bible's still there. All right. Now I'm just gonna try and, I'm gonna get out of here. I don't need to talk to him. What, what else would be next? I guess we could go up to the study. Uh, hidden in his desk room. 
Some nails. Yeah, I think that's in that secret room upstairs. So how do I find the stairs here? Is it up in this one? Oh no, hold on. It's actually right back here. So the code is 191-646. Right. This time, it'll be a lot quicker. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> if I remember rightly, the code was one one. Oh, I like that it's like just telling us now. Okay. I have no idea what we're going to do with that sphere, but we have to go to the library, um, or the portrait gallery anyways. 